top three getting started. Here we go. So log on to Alex, or excuse me, to, of course, the portal. Um, of course, click workshop three. Let's talk about what we have. Okay, the first one, of course, the biblical assignment. You talk about, you answer the questions, upload them, and send them to me. No problem. Um, the next one. Here we go, the discussion for algebra investigations. You can watch this short video of the minute 44 seconds and it will help you kind of understand what you're supposed to be doing. Um, but this is what we're going to be doing. We're gonna do, watch the background, another three minute video, but let's kind of talk about here. So for this one, it talks about a linear equation. All linear equation means, it means it's a line and it gives you all of the X and Y combinations of what becomes a line. So for instance, let's just do this really fast and show you. So if this is a line, the equation, let's just, I'm gonna go ahead and make it y equals one half x plus three. And let's say that there is at three. And so if I say, well, that's at three comma zero, and then if I say, well, I have this here at six, uh, comma nine, right? All of those, six comma nine, this is at zero comma three, I said three comma zero, I apologize. But all of these here are going to be solutions to this linear equation. So <clears throat> that's just one example. So what you're gonna be doing is it teaches you how to isolate the terms and kind of work on that. And, but what you need is you just need to choose two linear equations and conduct an error analysis. So this is the way I suggest for you to do it. The way I did it on this is, and I'm gonna start you out on this one and then you'll continue. What I did is I went ahead and solved it next to it. I went negative two, eight X plus eight equals negative 32. So I went ahead and solved it to the next step, and I went negative two times eight x is negative 16 x. And then I went negative two times negative eight is negative 16 equals negative 32. Then I went over here and I said, oh, wait a minute. You can see they have positive 16, I have negative 16, error one, okay? Then I pretended like they didn't make an error so I started that step one to step two. And I started fresh from step two, negative 16 X plus 16 equals negative 32. Because I'm saying, okay, now I'm trying to find their next mistake if this was correct. Of course, it's not correct, but we're gonna do it from here. So then I would do what? Subtract 16, subtract 16, and I would have negative 16 X, and I say equals gonna be negative 48. And I look here and I say, okay, subtract 16, subtract 16, it's negative 16, x equals negative 48. Okay, so we agree with that. Great. Divide by negative 16, divide by negative 16, and I get x is equal to 4. And I look here, divide by 16, divide by 16, and as x is equal to negative 3. So I said, oh, that's their second error, just like that. So that's kind of how I did it, is I just kind of found their error and then started again from the from the next spot, even with their error, and then found their next error from that spot. Okay, so it tells you here that you are supposed to do two of them. So there's different things here, and you are supposed to choose two of these and do two of these. And then, of course, comment on your, on your post. So when you do this, it tells you read the rubric, read sections not, you know, tells you where to read because it's this is helps you with this particular problem. Um, choose two, read the problem carefully, find the errors, explain the error, and answer the problem correctly. So that was the last step, which I did not do, but then the last step you should do is go ahead and take the negative two x, or excuse me, negative two parentheses, eight x plus eight equals 30, negative 32, and solve it correctly. So that's the last step is go ahead and you solve it correctly. All right, and once you're finished with that, of course, you're going to comment on, on, you're going to post it by the first day and then comment on the 
fourth day to two people. And then when you post it, you should look at my answers and you should correct them. There's my post that has the correct answer to all of these. And to make sure that you are able to correct yours. Make sure you make a post and correct yours and find the mistake and it hopefully will help you learn. All right, so that is part two. Let's go back to workshop three. Okay, so for three, three is lines and equations and inequalities. And this is on Alex, and so you'll click Alex and do that one. Now, I do have an Alex video for you as well that goes through all of the different 30 or so problems that you will have on Alex. And the last step is, why do I need to know this? Real life application. Okay, so there is body mass index or translating word problems to a linear equation. So you can do one of the following. It does not matter. If you choose body mass index, you're going to just go through and you're going to compute um, the body mass index for somebody that's five feet four inches tall and weighs 160 pounds. And you're going to use this equation here. So you have 703 times their weight divided by their height squared. Now remember the height is in inches and so five feet four inches tall is in feet and inches so you need to convert that first. You're going to put this into and answer all the different questions. You're going to put it in some sort of presentation. Guys, don't take four hours to do the presentation. Just create a nice presentation that's neat and has all the answers that I need, that has all these, all these questions, all six questions on here, because um, you need to make sure you don't forget all of the questions that you're supposed to do. Um, just make it neat. Don't have to make it super fancy. Just make it nice. My favorite one is if someone does either um, just a PowerPoint presentation is easy because then you've got six slides and you've got one per slide and you can do a fancy design by having them do it for you and it looks really nice and it's very simple, but it also has all of your information on it as well. Um, you can, and then, um, so that's one, or you could do translate word problems into linear equations. And so you have this here, it tells, tells you there's six steps and it tells you which one you're supposed to do. And it tells you right here, look, you would need to choose three of these to translate and solve, any three of them. But you're gonna do these six things um, to be able to give yourself a, a, for three of these problems. So um, you could do three slides for this one and then show the six steps on each slide. That would work as well. All right, if you get stuck with any of these things, please let me know. And uh, that is it for this particular unit. Just let me know if there's any trouble. Thank you very much.